Yo, we're finally gonna get the fight that we've all been waiting for between Nagya Inoue and MJ Akhmadaliyev. The court? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. Check this out. So as you know, now you're anyways preparing to fight Sam Goodman in December. And yes, he's the number one ranked fighter in the WBO and the IBF. You know, he's mandatory in two sanctioning bodies. But, 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 but. Those of you that are familiar with boxing, you know that there's an order to certain things. You know what I'm talking about? And there's a guy by the name of MJ Akhmadaliyev, who's the number one mandatory fighter in the WBA sanctioned body, you know? And they have said that, hey, man, you know, we've been the mandatory for a while for the proper due process or order of things. We should have had this fight for a while. And, you know, two fights ago, back when Naya anyway fought Louis Neary, the WBA granted now yeah anyway an, an exception actually to fight lewis neary which he did but like i said between then he also fought tj doheny right and jack medallia was like hold on now you're talking about fighting sam goodman and that right there is a violation and i'm not gonna stand for it so they really mean that you know him and his team have announced that they will take now you're anyway to court and they're prepared to do so by october 29th the reason why october 29th that date is important is because on october 29th that's when the purse bids for the ibf uh between now you anyway and sam goodman will commence so they're saying as soon as that commences they're going to take them to court as announced by mj akbadalia's lawyer pat english but wait there's more and to even add further to the, to the situation and the and, and the heat you know that that heat in the kitchen turn it up baby it's turning up that thing get a hot daddy that thing hot 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 <laughs> that thing hot daddy well you know vadim kamalov <laughs> that name sounds familiar right who's m jack medallia's manager his name sounds familiar because He's also Bivol's manager, you know, Dimitri Bivol, you know, the same guy and the same team that says that they're going to protest and challenge the, the controversial uh, uh, loss that he had to better be of, to determine the undisputed champion and light heavyweight. Well, Kamala said, hey, man, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool and I'm hip with the judicial system. I'm going to court again for this litigation, you know. So he's saying, hey, man, I've been to court before. I'll go again. So he's saying, yeah, man, that he, they will definitely take it to court. But wait, there's more. And not only that, bruh, to throw salt on the wound, he accused Naya anyway of being a cherry picker. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you talking to? He said, you know, it's crazy how people will cherry pick and still potentially not want to pay the person to which they cherry picked. He's talking about Sam Goodman. He said, hey man, send the contract over here and we'll take the money that you were going to give Sam Goodman, you know, because those of you that pay attention you know that sam goodman and and, and naya anyway were supposed to fight earlier but then things got a little shaky and and the fight was called off and naya anyway went and fought uh, um tj doheny but now they got back together so so kamalov is saying hey give us the same offer you gave sam goodman that was refused by that team and we'll take it or give up the belt if you don't want to fight us and then there'll be no problems so i do agree with this man i do think mg akmadalia should should get his chance he does deserve his chance bullshit bullshit some people will say, oh, well, he lost his opportunity when he lost by split decision to Marlon Tapales, you know, and the winner went on and fought Naya anyway, most famously when Marlon Tapales getting stopped. But, you know, once you lose opportunity, if you work hard and keep going, you can gain, gain opportunity back. And that's what MJ Akhmadaliyev has, has, has done, you know. He, um, he successfully fought Kevin Gonzalez and beat him. He was an undefeated fighter. I think he had 26 wins at the time, or he was 27 to know. You know, and he beat him and he put himself back into mandatory position. So, I do think he deserves either a chance at Naya anyway or a chance at the belt. Now, do I think that MJ Akhmadaliyev will beat Naya anyway? I think it's a great matchup, but I think Naya anyway will win. Now, I'm going with the monster. However, it's still one of the best fights to be had at Super Bantamweight for Naya anyway. And it doesn't matter who wins. It's about the opportunity. I think MJ Akhmadaliyev def definitely deserves that opportunity, man. But I thought that uh, uh, Vadim 
Karmalov was getting a little hot. You know, you would say, hey, man, Sam Goodman, he's a cherry pick. You know, that's a hand picked fighter. He doesn't really have a chance. Give it to us and we'll take the chance because we're a real threat. Or, you know, go ahead and vacate. So it may seem like Naya anyway, if he goes goes through with the Sam Goodman fight, he may be forced to relinquish that WBA belt unless Bob Arum works his little magic. You know how he does. You know, he's always working things in the background behind the scenes with his little corrupt self you know him at top rank but you know we'll see how it goes man but don't be surprised if now you anyway fight sam goodman um to satisfy the the ibf challenger you know him being the mandatory and subsequently he might get stripped for the wba and he'll no longer be undisputed man but i don't think it really matters too much you know once you obtain um, undisputed and you know you will get stripped if you don't fight the mandatory and if you don't want to fight the mandatory then i think that should happen you know what i'm saying it's up to the sanctioned body to enforce their rules y'all let me know what y'all think about that do you think that uh die anyway will lose his undisputed title this way would it hurt you if he lost this way do you want him to fight mj akmadaliev i do you know um or are you cool with sam goodman i think sam goodman's a good uh opponent um I, I won't go as far as to say that <laughs> I won't go as far as uh, Kamalov and say that he's he's a cherry pick, but I do think that uh, MJ Akhmadaliev is a, is a more formidable opponent for Nadia anyway than Sam Goodman will prove to be. Man, y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.